Hi, my beautiful Geminis. <clears throat> this is going to be your March 5th until the 12th. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Okay, so for March I'll be doing a giveaway. This is going to be a little bit different. The winner of this giveaway gets to choose any tarot or oracle deck of their choice. And there's going to be three different ways you can enter. You can either subscribe to my channel or in the description box below you will see uh, two links. One to my Facebook and one to my Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Facebook or Instagram or subscribe, those will all get you an entry. And this time each one that you do will get you a separate entry into the giveaway. Okay, so let's see. What is the mutual energy between Gemini and their person? What is the mutual energy between Gemini and their person? Okay, so we have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance and it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Well, that's really nice. So you guys are both thinking that you guys are each other's soulmates and you're both trying to stay optimistic about the situation. Um, I feel like it could be because, you know, you guys have been hurt in the past. Even you're, you're scared of how strong this connection is. So you have children on your side. Your love life is being affected by children. And your partner side has forgiving and learning. So I definitely feel like, because um, I was going to say it could be one of you guys that is, you know, afraid to love and that's why you're both staying optimistic. But I feel like your partner definitely, you know, has some forgiving and learning to do healing from the past situation. They could have definitely been hurt in the past. Um, or they've seen someone get hurt and that's affected the way that, you know, they love and how much they can put out there. But with such a strong connection, it's like they kind of realize that they can't be giving the minimum with you. So they're really trying to stay optimistic about trying about being able to open up their hearts, you know. And I feel like this week they're really going to be feeling like it is safe to love you. They can trust you. They can, you know, give you their all and not be afraid that you're going to hurt them. And you're going to be feeling that same way about um, your person. Some of you may have children um, separate separate from this person or with this person. And, you know, your children are taking up a lot of your time right now, so you guys are trying to stay optimistic about having some time together. So with the Six of Pentacles on your side, I definitely feel like, you know, you definitely may have children and you may be trying to balance everything, you know, work, taking care of your kids, having this relationship. You're trying to balance out all the things that are going on in your life and just trying to make it equal so that everybody's happy and that you're happy as well because you also have to take time for yourself. So what do we have for Gemini's person? So we have a seven of cups. So I feel like your person might have been having some illusions about, you know, this relationship, this connection. And I feel like they are definitely afraid. And because of that, it makes them think all crazy kind of things within this connection. And it's not you. It's not necessarily anything that you've done. But it's just that, you know, they've seen something or they've, they've experienced something. And because of that, their mind doesn't stop wondering. They really wonder a lot about certain things. I do also see this um, Seven of Cups as a Scorpio card, so you could be dealing with a Scorpio. All right, so on your side, we have the Three of Wands. So with the Three of Wands, you're definitely, you know, I feel like you're just kind of waiting for the right time for things to grow, waiting for the right time for things to expand. You're not really rushing things, which is really good. Um, but things are going to be definitely expanding a lot for you guys. This could also be just all the things in your life that you have to do are really expanding this week. And it's really hard to um, to balance because there's just so much going on. So much going on with you and everything that you're going through. Everything that you're dealing with. There's just a lot on your plate. And with your partner we have the Emperor. So you could be dealing with an, em or with an Aries. So... I feel like the person that you're dealing with also does work a lot there. They could definitely be a leader. They could definitely be somebody that, you know, they either are a manager or they run a business, but they're very well put together. This person, you know, it could be the situation where, you know, you're waiting on your ships to come and they're starting to come, but this person has already been um, 
it's already been, you know, where it is that you're trying to be or, you know, similar to where it is you're trying to get to, this person has already achieved that. I definitely see that this person could be, you know, coming into a, a rise of power very soon. This person could be the father of your children or could be the, um, could have children as well. Seems like you guys are both pretty busy. I don't think that helps whoever's having the illusion, so. Alright, so on your side we have the Fool and Justice. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Libra. So I definitely feel like, you know, justice is going to be served. You guys are going to be feeling a lot. You're going to get the balance that you want within this relationship, within this connection. Things are going to be feeling more balanced and more aligned. Um, you're going to be taking a new leap of faith. You, you may have the free time to take this new leap of faith with them and just kind of jump into things um, with more energy, more time than you had before. This could be, you know, balancing out the connection, balancing out the fears, getting rid of all that stuff, having everything balanced, and then being able to take a leap into this and really, truly, genuinely express yourself to this person. Really, truly, genuinely be with this person, you know? Could have been like you were just dating before, testing out the waters, and now you're really going to be taking a jump into this relationship, into this connection. Others of you, you know what I am starting to see now? For others of you, this could be that um, you guys were with somebody. Somebody might have cheated on you guys. Somebody might, not all of you guys, I do see this as for a small few of you guys, but you could have been with somebody who did mess around or they were being a little bit you know they have a little bit of a player energy casually flirting with other people and um because of that I feel like you might have started to put your time into other things too and some of you might have been might have actually got a divorce from this person and you're kind of just waiting to see like how everything's gonna go and you're gonna be getting justice so it's like you're waiting you're um waiting for the court waiting for whatever to see how you're gonna be Definitely it could be financially, how you're going to be financially. This could be saying that you're going to get a lot of money at the end of this divorce. You're the one that's going to keep the children and, um, you know, justice is on your side. So you're going to get all the good things to come out of this shitty situation that happened. And then you're going to be able to take a new leap of faith, a new start on your own as a single person. But you're going to be very optimistic about life. It's like, if this happened, this person didn't ruin anything for you. They didn't ruin the way you see love. You know, you're kind of, you're just like, you know what? At least I found out now and I didn't ruin the rest of my life kind of thing. So that is for a, a small few of you. I definitely see a lot of money, like a lot of money for a lot of you guys. Some, um, you could be getting money from a divorce. I see the devil here. Yeah, you could definitely be getting money from a divorce. This is the Capricorn energy. Um, getting finances based on something that happened, um, you could be definitely cutting out of the, cutting out this toxic energy and once you get divorced, you will be getting a lot of money. But I do see this as just you guys, you being very stable. It's like the queen of pentacles came out on your side and the devil came out on your partner's side. So it's like, there was something that they did that wasn't in the best intentions that kind of, you know led you towards being you know financially stable but on your own independently it's like there was there is a chain kind of like a toxic energy between the two of you but this person like this person could have an alcohol addiction this person could have a sex addiction but i definitely see that they they are the type of person where when they're at work they're the perfect person at work if they are a father they're the perfect you know but there's something else on the side that maybe you didn't realize until now and then you started to see what this person truly was and you divorced them so that is for a couple of you as well but that is what I have for you guys if you want any more clarity you have a question or um, you want a reading this is the last week for the five dollar questions and thirty five dollar readings I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon okay bye